Hi guys, I want to introduce you to our Max Trax 2.2. It's just been completed, ready for collection by a customer. Uh, we tend to build these vehicles on high spec uh, MAN or Crafter models. This one's a 177 trend line with 8 speed automatic gearbox, uh, 4 motion, uh, medium wheelbase. A lot of the time, customers spec these pretty highly. I mean, this one's got LED headlights, navigation factory swivel seats, there's heated steering wheel options, aircon, uh, so yeah, let's have a look around. So a couple of modifications on the outside of this vehicle, we've got the 18 inch Black Rhino Arsenal wheels with BF Goodrich all-terrain tyres, this van's also sat on the Plus 30 Seacall lift kit, um, and we've also added these nice plastic arches from Volkswagen just to help protect it if you do take the vehicle off-road. Um, going down the side of the van, we've also got our side pod which we fit on all of our conversions. Uh, it allows you to sleep across the vehicle. Uh, so these are carbon fiber, and then we insulate on the inside as well. So this customer spec the fifth wheel, um, which we fitted with our custom spare wheel carrier. So if we have a look in the back of the van, So in the back of our Max Trax 2 wheel conversion here, we've got enough space for a couple of bikes and we do our own custom bike carriers if, if required. Um, also got some power sockets, so 12 volt USB, LED lighting in here as well. Um, and this is where we've got our fill for the water tanks, and the shower if you uh, need to wash the bike off, wash the dog off, wash yourself off. So on this side of the vehicle, we've got the fuel on the stall awning. Uh, the customer hasn't spec the roof rack uh, just to help with uh, clearance on car parks and bits and pieces so we've gone for the, the fuel uh, gutter mounted bracket on this one. Um, it's all electric as well so press the button there and out she comes. I would advise pegging it down, especially with Portland weather. So the van was spec with factory silver seats. We've reupholstered them, quite a classic design, black with silver stitch. This being the two berth, it has got two rear seats in the back. Um, obviously it doesn't turn into a bed. These are quite comfortable. You can also slide the seats apart, so if you've got bigger passengers, it's a bit more comfortable traveling. Uh, they do also recline, so it's not a massive recline, but it does help when you're on long distances. The shower and toilet area. Again, all nice, wipe clean, wash down. Come around to the galley area. So we've gone for the Basto uh, diesel hob, so no need to carry any gas on board. Um, and also a little Dometic sink there. This van has got hot and cold water, so obviously shower, sink, um, and uh, onboard waste and fresh water tank. We've got around here. So we've got the Dometic fridge here, which can swing right round. So if you are outside the van having some dinner or an evening beer, you can get in there quite easily. So this van is also fit with two Max fans. These are really cool. Um, so you can have one uh, blowing air in and the one sucking air out. So you can set the temperature and it will literally circulate the air uh, to get to your desired temperature. With all of our Max tracks, we have this Laroma mattress, which we have custom made to size for us. Uh, we also supply uh, a couple of bed sheets as it is a bespoke size. Back here as well, we've got USB points, one either side. We've also got plenty of storage for all your bits and pieces uh, in the storage compartments back here. So here we've got access to the garage from inside the living area. So this vehicle has got Webasto hot water and heating system. It's all on a seven day timer so you can have it go off for a bike ride, for a walk, come back, hot water heating, ready to have a shower. Also we've got the Cymarine battery monitoring system. So here we see battery level, how long at this rate the battery will last. You can also scroll through 
here so we can see what each item is consuming. We've also got water level sensors that are connected to this as well, so fresh and waste, even down to temperature of batteries. So if you are taken into sub zero temperatures, um, you can keep an eye on, on all of that. Systematic windows we fit, double glazed, so open like that. At night, you can click them just a little bit open, let the air in. We've got fly mesh, and then at night, put it down. Come